In the podcast, Tony Robbins discusses various topics related to personal growth, mindset, and happiness. He shares insights into how individuals can change their perspective and attitude to experience a more fulfilling life. He emphasizes the importance of focusing on what you have rather than what's missing, what you can control rather than what you can't, and living in the present and building for the future. Robbins explains that individuals have the power to change their perspective and attitude towards life. He suggests that by focusing on what you have rather than what's missing, you can experience more fulfillment and happiness. He also encourages people to focus on what they can control rather than what they can't, as this can reduce stress and anxiety. Additionally, he highlights the importance of living in the present and building for the future, as this mindset can lead to a more positive and proactive approach to life. Robbins discusses the concept of biochemical changes in the body and how they can be influenced by one's mindset and habits. He explains that by engaging in certain practices, such as gratitude exercises and visualization, individuals can create a biochemical change in their bodies. For example, he describes a 10-minute daily process that includes focusing on gratitude, cleansing the body mentally, and visualizing desired outcomes. This process is designed to condition the nervous system and create a more positive and proactive mindset. Robbins emphasizes the impact of one's environment and habits on their overall well-being. He explains that individuals can train themselves to focus on the positive aspects of their lives and to adopt a more proactive mindset. By engaging in practices that promote gratitude and positive thinking, individuals can create a more fulfilling and joyful life. Additionally, he discusses the importance of breaking negative habits and replacing them with positive ones in order to achieve personal growth and happiness. Robbins highlights the significance of personal growth and giving in achieving fulfillment and happiness. He explains that the purpose of life is not just to achieve goals, but to grow and become a better version of oneself. By focusing on progress and growth, individuals can experience a sense of fulfillment and purpose. Additionally, he emphasizes the importance of sharing one's growth and achievements with others, as this can lead to a deeper sense of joy and satisfaction. Robbins discusses the impact of external influences, such as the media and societal norms, on individuals' mindset and well-being. He explains that the constant exposure to negative news and information can affect one's perspective and attitude. However, he also emphasizes the power of personal choice and the ability to change one's mindset despite external influences. Robbins emphasizes the importance of setting clear and specific goals in order to make progress in life. He explains that many people make New Year's resolutions without thinking about them in depth. They lack a plan and often give up on their goals by February. Robbins encourages people to think about what they want, why they want it, and what kind of person they need to be to achieve it. He stresses the need for honesty about the gap between where one is and where they want to be. According to Robbins, in order to make progress, individuals need to identify and address the obstacles that are preventing them from reaching their goals. These obstacles can include fear, limiting beliefs, emotions, bad habits, or lack of skills. He advises people to face their fears, slay their dragons, and make the necessary changes to move forward. Robbins also emphasizes the importance of finding mentors and modeling the behavior of successful individuals in order to learn and grow. Robbins believes that immersion is the key to creating lasting change. He explains that immersion involves fully engaging in an experience such as attending a seminar or participating in a program in order to rewire the brain and develop new habits. He shares examples of individuals who have experienced transformation through immersion, such as a man who lost 320 pounds and improved his life after participating in one of Robbins' events. Robbins discusses the chemistry of transformation, which involves five elements, satiation, dissatisfaction, hitting a threshold, gaining insight, and uncertainty. He explains that these elements can lead to a shift in mindset and behavior, ultimately leading to personal growth and change. Robbins emphasizes the importance of recognizing when these elements are present and taking action to capitalize on them. Shame is identified as a negative emotion that can hinder personal growth and progress. 
Robbins explains that shame can lower one's energy and lead to negative beliefs about oneself. He encourages individuals to shift their focus and look for evidence that supports positive beliefs and behaviors. He also emphasizes the importance of addressing shame and developing a more positive mindset in order to overcome obstacles and achieve success. Momentum is described as a key factor in achieving success. Robbins explains that momentum can be created by consistently doing the right things and building a sense of progress and achievement. He uses the example of a sports team that gains momentum after a significant play, highlighting how momentum can shift the course of events and lead to positive outcomes. Robbins explains that the way we use our bodies, including our posture, breathing, and facial expressions, has a significant impact on our emotional state. He provides examples of how changing one's physiology can alter their biochemistry and emotional experience. For instance, he describes how depressed individuals often exhibit slouched posture, shallow breathing, and subdued voice, while excited individuals display more energetic movements, upright posture, and full breathing. By changing one's physiology, individuals can effectively change their emotional state and biochemistry. Robbins highlights the importance of what individuals choose to focus on as it directly influences their emotional experience. He explains that the thoughts and beliefs individuals hold can shape their emotional responses. For example, worrying about a negative outcome or dwelling on past mistakes can lead to feelings of anxiety and sadness. Conversely, focusing on positive aspects and opportunities can lead to feelings of hope and optimism. Robbins emphasizes that individuals have the power to control their focus and shift their attention to more empowering thoughts and beliefs. The language individuals use, both internally and externally, plays a crucial role in shaping their emotional experiences. Robbins discusses how the words and phrases individuals use can impact their emotional state. He provides an example of how a simple change in language can alter one's perception and emotional response. For instance, using words like delicious instead of nutritious can create a more positive and enjoyable experience. Similarly, the language individuals use when speaking to themselves can influence their self-perception and emotional well-being. Robbins also delves into the concept of identity and how it relates to emotional patterns. He explains that individuals often hold on to old emotional patterns and habits because they have become part of their identity. However, he emphasizes the importance of updating one's mental software and transforming their identity to align with their desired emotional state. By adopting a new identity that reflects positive emotional patterns, individuals can experience lasting change and growth. The podcast also touches on the significance of contribution and self-love in achieving emotional fulfillment. Robbins discusses how focusing on helping others and contributing to the well-being of others can shift one's focus away from self-centered emotions and lead to a greater sense of fulfillment. Additionally, he emphasizes the importance of self-love and gratitude in cultivating a positive emotional state. Robbins delves into the world of finance and investment, providing valuable insights into creating a compelling financial future. He discusses the concept of the holy grail of investing, which involves finding 8 to 12 investments that are not correlated to reduce risk and increase upside. He also highlights the potential of private equity, private real estate, and private credit as lucrative investment opportunities. Robbins shares examples of how private equity firms have outperformed the stock market and how individuals can become owners in these firms to benefit from their success. He also discusses the potential of investing in sports teams and non-correlated bonds as alternative investment options. Robbins emphasizes the importance of creating a compelling future and having a plan for oneself, especially during uncertain times. He encourages individuals to focus on personal growth and resilience, as well as to take advantage of opportunities that arise during challenging periods. He also discusses the potential for growth and success during winter periods, using historical examples to illustrate how individuals and businesses can thrive during tough times.